Hello everyone and welcome back to well, another Looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Anything different about it. Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm not taking it back. Unless you want to sell it at a discount, of course. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Um, I will find you in a second. But anyway, guys, um, welcome back to another episode of Lily Elmshade. I think I accidentally sold my armor or put it somewhere I can't find it because I couldn't find it. So what I did was I did what I did when I gave Inigo his armor. I just picked it up from where you would pick it up in the Thieves Guild. Um, but yeah. So at least we did that. Timely offer. Delvin, I have a full score of class arrows coming in. If you want a piece, I'll sell them to you for my cost. I need to keep the merchandise moving or else that bitch might catch on to our operation. If you want them, they'll be stashed under the docks in the usual place. I'll check back with you in a week. Holdenway, I think. Hello. We'll have a seat. Alright, before we go anywhere, um, I'm gonna sell some stuff to... If you're to looking for extra work, talk to Vex or Delvin. They'll fix you up. To Tanelia. I've got coin and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. Mm-hmm. Alright. Um, I gotta go this way. No? This way. Alright, so, if I'm quieter than normal, it's because, um, I'm trying not to wake one, one of my kids up. They're napping. So. So, I did take... Anyway, I did take a look at the quests, and I've decided that before we go to Windhelm... Um, oh my god, I haven't found any of the horses. Guess I'll have to fix that. Um, we're gonna go to Whiterun. And do these, and... Uh, just a few more hours and I can crawl under some furs. That's nice. And... Get that horse. I haven't figured out how to stay on the horse till you tame it. It's just random. But yeah, so if anyone knows how to stay on the horse the first time around, that would be nice. I can take you to any of the hold cap. Where do you want to go? My turn. Climb and back and we'll be on. There once was a hero named Rex. The Rex was seen riding to right from from old Rorik's dead. Alright. So. I'm gonna go get the horse. Which is the red one. And it's somewhere over here. Oh, 
There it is. No, no, no. You need to become my friend. Oops. But yeah, I... Okay, so wild horses will buck until tamed. Stay mounted until they submit. If you are thrown, try again. Once tamed, you can add a saddle and rename them at any, sap, at any stable. When changing horses, tame horses will return to the location where they were found. So, yeah, I haven't figured out how to do this. I figured out how to stay on a wild horse in Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'm quite good at it in that game. But in this one... Yeah, see, I haven't figured out if there's a button to stay on it or what, but... Uh, get back here. You will be my friend. I tamed the red one. And before we go m meet, um, what's his name? Mercer. Uh, I think there was, it said there was a horse there. Kept pressing the button and it wouldn't let me. Gal like you needs a war horse, I reckon. Of course. I mean, I suppose that works, but the only thing better than riding this, of course. Nope. Looking to shatter wreck, of course. What do you want? Of course. This might take a bit. Of course. Need something? Of course. Speak, of course. There we go. It fits him. Is that one of my jobs? It is one of my jobs. Nice. Are you telling me I have to come back in the morning and the at night? Probably. All right, so I'll do the one inside and I'll try and film some stuff and get some sleep, and then I'll come back and yeah, and then we can take a carriage to Windhelm and. So, yeah. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Got some good pieces. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that. Excuse, Excuse me, my friend. Okay, um... Honor to 
Alright, so. I put some stuff away. Traveler. Look around, I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know, I might have it. Are you my target? You are my target. Don't need Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Right. So, how? what brings a Breton to Skyrim? This seems like a very rude question to ask, but I'm very curious, apparently. Isn't it obvious? Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. Sorry. So how's business? Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. Right. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Uh-huh. All right, so let's see. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Do come back. Right, let's see if I can sell some potions. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, Ooh. I might have it stored away. What do you need, my friend? Take a look. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Hmm. You look rather pale. Could be a taxi. It's quite a problem back home in Syria. I'm also a pale person. I'm fine, woman. All right, let's level up. Um. Do health. Let's see. Alright, so let's go see if I can get any of these enchantments and try and sell some stuff to the court wizard. And then I'll Divine smile on you, friend. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Maybe. Oblivion. They want to back the storm close. 
Have you met my father? Welcome to war. The finest way. Good doing business with you. Yep. You're home. Hello. Yep, I'm home. Mama, you're back. Can I get a few gold to spend? Please. Uh, thanks. That should get you some food or something. You want to talk? Of course. What do you want to know? Yes. Thank you. I will try to be a good guest. Actually, yeah. Let's 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 talk. Yes, my friend. What would you have me do? How can I help you, my friend? Whatever you say. You are doing that command animal thing on me, aren't you? I cannot resist. What's that? Okay, that was a weird way. Good to take a break. <sighs> like what is on your mind? Oops, I didn't mean to. Yeah. Okay, how did you get those scars exactly? Well, we're. Well. <sighs> you have my full attention. My brother and I were adopted by a couple of retired assassins. I guess the orphanage did not do a family background check. Probably not. But you must have had a very interesting childhood. Mine was perhaps a little more unconventional than most, but I suppose all childhoods are interesting to some degree. My parents provided me with love and encouragement. Apart from the nightly training sessions, we were a normal family. Okay, one more and then I'll ask you about the scars. I was bullied by the other Khajiit children because of my unusual color and markings. My mother showed me a handy trick with a rock and a glove. I was never bothered again. Hmm. So this is a tricky one. On the one hand, I'm glad he stood up for himself, and they did that, but he also could have killed someone. I'm gonna choose this one. Yes, bullies should not be tolerated. They soon learned that being different is not a weakness. It's not, but you really should be more careful. All right. Fire away. Um, tell me about yourself. Some people say I talk too much. Maybe it is true, but when we are up to something sneaky, I will always shut my mouth. Alright. Okay. Let's ask about these scars of yours. Alright. How did you get the scars? It is quite a story. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes. It happened about a week after the Japan job. And my betrayal. Um, after you shot me? Or were you off skooma at this point? I want to ask both of these. So that's this one. Not quite. I was still an addict. After the Dupan deal went sour, I managed to score a little skooma on the road. I used it and sat up all night staring at the stars. I decided I would end my life the next day. After what I did to Felix and you, I thought it best for everybody if I just went away. I'm glad you're still around. You are very nice to say such things. I am glad too. I watched the sun come up then made a noose. My camp was high near the edge of a cliff. I fastened the noose to an overhanging tree branch. I used the last of my skooma, placed the rope around my neck, and jumped off. 
How did you survive that? I will tell you, don't be so impatient. A good story often needs to take its time. Uh, all right. All right. I remember falling, the twanging noise as the rope went taut, a brief moment of pain, a snapping noise, I thought it was my neck. Then I was falling again, the cliffs rushed past me, I thought, well, the rope didn't work, but the ground will do the trick. A wide ledge hurried up to meet me, I closed my eyes just before the impact, there was a smashing noise, then I was underwater. It's a good thing you're so sturdy. What? Go on. I thought, well, the ground didn't kill me, but drowning should end my sorry life. The gods had other plans, though. A current dragged me to the surface, coughing and spluttering. That's when I heard them. What did you hear? I heard clucking. I was in a river being swept through a large cavern. It was dark, but I could make out many cages on the bank. Chickens strutted about outside the cages. I could smell magic. I gathered my strength and hauled myself out of the water. Go on. Inside the cages, people were bound and gagged. Ignoring the chickens, I rushed over and tried to open the first cage I came to. It was locked tight. Suddenly, I felt a pain in my foot. A chicken was pecking at me. I kicked it away, but it came back with reinforcements. Yeah, I think the skooma was messing with your mind, but... I'm not gonna say... No. Go on. I was in a flapping, pecking nightmare. I tried to get back in the water, but before I had gone a few steps, I was knocked unconscious. By a chicken? No, a chicken pecks. It does not try to sneak up behind you and knock you out. I awoke tied to a chair. There was a foul-smelling man studying me. I could hear the river nearby, but now I was in a crypt of some sort. Chickens and rabbits watched me from behind the smelly man. He said he was going to make me useful. I did not like the sound of that. What did you do? My options were limited. I had no weapons, but I did have a little time. This fellow liked to talk. I unsheathed my claws and went to work on the ropes that held me to the chair. The man seemed to have a bit to say, so I let him talk. He said he was a powerful wizard and that he had learned how to transform people into animals. Once transformed, he said I would want nothing but to aid him. He said he had a spy network of chickens and rabbits all over Skyrim. Go on. I asked why only chickens and rabbits. He replied that once I was a chicken, no one would ever take notice of me again. A bear or a mammoth would be too conspicuous. Smaller animals make the best spies. I told him if he turned me into a chicken, I'd peck his eyes out. He told me that the change was not only physical. I would want to do his bidding, nothing else. What was he hoping to achieve? He said he was using the information his spy network gathered to cause hate across the land. He fed on hate. It made him stronger. How did you get away? I had spied a wooden door in one wall that smelt rotten. As soon as I felt the rope around me give a little, I jumped at the door. It burst open as I hit it, and the chair broke apart. I was free. The wizard screamed in anger and loosed a spell in my direction. I dodged his attack and ran down a long stone tunnel. I heard the smelly wizard begin to laugh. There is only death that way, he yelled. Good, I replied. I've been seeking that all day. Oh. You were in a dragger crypt, huh? Yes. 
The smell of bones and dust filled my nose. The wizard did not follow me. I ran for what seemed like forever. Eventually, I came to a vast chamber with a spindly spiral staircase leading up in the center. The floor was littered with dried out bodies. They had been dead for hundreds of years, but as it turned out, they were still quite feisty. As I made for the staircase, the dead started to groan and move. I jumped over them and began to climb the steps. Yeah, go on. These are both good questions. Mm. Go on. There were too many Draga to fight, so I concentrated on climbing. Halfway up, I spotted an opening in the ceiling. The air was fresher up there. That is when I uncharacteristically tripped. I tumbled back down the stairs. Soon the dead reached me. They clawed at me. They held me down. Dry, cracked fingers tore my face to ribbons, giving me these scars. I almost gave up, and then something amazing happened. What happened? I realized I wanted to live. I realized that my life was still worth something. I realized that I could be the person my brother knew again. This realization gave me a strength I never knew I had. I fought back, shouting, No! Again and again. No, you will not have my life. No, this is not where I die. No! I struggled to my feet, fighting all the while. I snapped necks, I broke arms, I gouged out eyes. Somehow, I made it back to the staircase. You were lucky. I'd rather think of it as determination and purpose, but maybe you are right. Anyway, I reached the top of the stairs, forced open the hatch above, and stepped out into daylight. I was only a few hundred feet from my camp. I stared at the tree with the snapped rope hanging from it for a long time. I knew I owed much, and swore that I would repay any debt I could. When I realized you had survived, I decided that if anyone was going to take my life, it should be you. You know the rest. That is how I got these scars. It is a good tale, yes? Um, I do find it hard to believe, yes, but there have been stranger things happening around me, so yeah, it was a fantastic tale, Inigo. Yes, it is. Living it made me the man you see before you. Scars and all. Any... Oops. What would you have me do? No. Nope. I will aid you if I can. No. Nope. Yes, my friend. Any thoughts? This building makes me feel as snug as a flea in fur. Mm. So, how do you think I'm doing, Inigo? I am honored you want my opinion. Take your time. Okay. I will list some of your attributes. Here we go. You smell good. You are okay for gold at the moment. Um... You have never done time in a cell, unlike me. Your travels have taken you to a few interesting places, but much of Skyrim is still a mystery to you. You own your own home. That is a big positive in my book. Eh, uh, let me think. Like me, you have no great talent for fighting with magic. You are healthy. Try to stay that way. You are good at getting what you want out of a conversation. You are probably influencing me right now. You are strong, free, and single. You can hold your own with a one-handed weapon. There is always more to be learned, though. Mm -hmm. You were saved from the Executioner's Axe by the very force that now threatens this land. You could be our only hope. No pressure. 
You have great fashion sense. Uh, let's see. Two-handed weapons do not seem to suit you. I feel the same way. They are heavy and cumbersome. You are not into politics. More often than not, you are polite and sincere. You are becoming sneaky, but there is still a lot of room for improvement. You are not exactly well-read, but you've learned a thing or two. What have I missed? Oh, you have been practicing with your bow. You show promise. Now, how do I conclude? You are becoming a first-rate adventurer, my friend. Good thing, too. There are still many dangers you are yet to be tested against. You asked for my opinion, and now you have it. I hope you did not mind my honesty. I did not. That's why I asked. Alright, one more any thoughts, and then I have got to sleep unless it's already night and go do my jobs. No. My mind is a tree without leaves at the moment. No. Oh. Okay. What time is it? Midnight. Alright, so I can go do my jobs. That's that's good. Have you met my father? He's the steward of the Dragon's Reach. You're the best. Can you be my mother? Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. You have got to be kidding me. I still can't... Oh. Oh, are you gonna go to bed? Cause that would be even better. So, I'm, uh, writing a song for you. Why, John Battleborn, you're writing me a song? Does it somehow involve blood or beheadings or the honor of my forebears? Well, that's where I started. But it turned into something of a ballad. <laughs> a ballad? Oh, now I know you're joking with me. It's all true, I swear it. You can hear it when it's done. I'll just need a year or two to smooth the rough edges. <laughs> I thought as much. Okay. This is an old... If only my pickpocket was high enough to do this. Thinking about buying it, because other than houses and doing the building, what else am I going to use the money for? Pocketing. We're gonna save. Oh, thank goodness. They're out there reforming the Dawn God. Alright, do I have whistle? Yes, I do. Okay.
I definitely need Lightfoot. Alright, well, let's see if moving this horse... does anything to help me because if not I might have to wait to do this one until my sneak is higher all right yeah that did it hopefully they are asleep they are asleep excellent All right, cool. All right. Okay. Hopefully, he heard me. Let's check. I don't think he heard me. There we go. Okay. You want to ask me something? Let's go. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? When hell? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Windhelm's a bit cold for my tastes. I ain't talking about the weather. You're not from Windhelm, are you? Oh, apparently I could use a nap. Alright. It's over here. And it's the pale mare. Alright. And a forest close to the shoreline. I am gonna name it before we meet up with Mercer. Okay, so Holly Frost Farm said Norse in a forest. Oops, wrong one. Oh. Maybe that one? Yeah. I would like you to be my friend. <laughs> yep, and most of the time it does that, like, immediately. Ooh. 
awkward. Alright. Where did you go? There you are. Get back over here. Because you need to be my friend. Oh. Gosh darn it. There you go. And he's waking up. So that will be my cue to end the stream like really shortly. I'm gonna discover this real quick. Woohoo! Alright. I'm gonna name this horse real quick and then I'm gonna end the stream and next time we will um, go meet Mercer. I was hoping to end the stream when we met Mercer. But that's okay. It sounded like I heard a dragon. Um, I think I'm also going to uninstall Immersive Jewelries because the 10 um, carat amethysts are supposed to be the flawless, I believe. And we have two of them, but it's not registering. So, unfortunately, yep, it's a dragon. Hello, Mr. Dragon. I'm gonna have to use a lot of potions. Ooh. Where's my resist? more health. And that was it for my frost potions. I need to make more potions. I do not have the carry weight for you. Yes, it is. I I don't have the care. I guess I could put it on Inigo. <laughs> Customer, that is not normal with the glowing tendrils of light and the sucking noise. Do you feel okay? Yes, okay. This is I guess normal for me. Oh, where did my horse go? Alright. 
name you. Oh, pardon me. Was I in your way? Yeah, aren't you worried about dragons since one just attacked? My pa used to say, there ain't no use worrying about the things you can't change. If it's my fate to be ended by a dragon, so be it. Meantime, I'll live my life the way I want to. Yeah, that's a good way to look at life. Alright, let's name this horse. Yeah. I hope someday we'll get to know each other better. Of course. That'll work. That will work. See why the Nords like Skyrim. It's crisp air is wonderful right. for the lungs. In you go. Where are you? Uh, unfortunately, you're gonna have you to carry my dragon stuff. Yes? I hope you can carry it. There. Let us go. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. You're also gonna have to carry my. Pulling our resources. My goat horns. Oh, and you can have your loot. Is there anything else? But yeah, these are supposed supposed to be, I believe, flawless amethysts. We have two of them. Oh. And they are not registering as flawless. So I'm going to have to uninstall immersive jewelry which sucks cuz I mean look at that that is cool as well as these well that's normal but I mean Raida's necklace looks cool and so do these I mean maybe I have to uninstall and reinstall it I don't know we'll see um, but anyway, um, first off, I do want to thank everyone who did subscribe. I know I don't, I've, I don't think I've ever said it, but I really do appreciate it and thank you to everyone who did, but, um, I do appreciate it. Um, don't think I'm not appreciative of those who did subscribe, because I am. Um, but anyway, leave a like, comment down below, and if you do subscribe, know that it is appreciated, and thank you. Um, but we will see you in the next stream. I'm hoping to, um, do the Mercer quest today, once he either goes back to sleep, or somebody can watch him, so... Yeah, but anyway, I have to get going because he's awake and demanding attention. So I will see you in the next stream, um, which I'm hoping will be tonight. So, um, yeah, see you next time.